a pretty well fed wild bunny. <laughs> That's why we have fences, anti bunny fences. Well, good morning. Well, we're about 8 o'clock, I think. Figured I'd give you a glimpse of what I was up to yesterday. So, been <laughs> fun thing. Um, all of the supply line fittings and everything that I bought for that garden, half inch. This tube right here that I bought 500 feet of, that is the supply line for this garden, that is not half inch, that's three quarter. So there were a few words that were spoken yesterday because I couldn't even send it back to exchange because I've had it for like four months now. But, so, one thing it does mean, it does mean that I can remove the, um, one thing it does mean, it does mean that I can remove the, um, uh, hoses and such that I've been using to supply the garden and it'll be um, replaced with this supply line and I've also got it so that it'll run over and feed in and feed that garden now too so in the grand scheme of things it's better but in the long run it's also going to cost me more money because the um, $60, $80 of fittings that I had left over. Yeah, it's not going to fit that hose. But uh, what it did allow me to do is to use part of that system's uh, half inch as my direct supply lines that will hook into the feed lines. Um, I haven't got it all ironed out yet, but uh, I'm thinking... On one of these T posts right here, um, we'll probably hang um, the timer, and uh, you know we'll hook into the different plots. Most likely, we're going to end up with probably garden on one timer and corn on the other, and then I may get some. Um, inline timers for the elderberries because they actually like less water than you might think even though they like water i guess that was kind of a dumb statement but got everything lined out everything staked out we got all of our t posts set out um ground's getting hard the only thing oh i also got what wire I had, the wire that I got from Harris, I've got cut for the sections. So, and I've got my gates figured out in my head. Um, probably going to end up building them with two by twos, and uh, then I'll face or put a face on them of uh, the chicken wire. Um, but uh, all I need is to get that last roll of wire from the Gallet Church and uh, so for right now I have all of the wire for all of the back of it and along the end and along the end down there so the pieces that I'll still be setting up is basically along all the fronts up here um, almost there though almost there uh, I figured out what I'm going to do here on this end of it. I think I'm going to respace these out a little bit, and this is where I'll do my um, my bell peppers and stuff. So I'll have like corn and then bell peppers at this end, or vice versa or something, and then all corn. Uh, but. Right, here's the last piece of fencing. This fencing piece is enough to go across the, the end there, so. Almost there. 
they end up better garden area than the other did. I could almost see myself eventually taking out this garden area and just having it over here. Maybe adding it to the end. <laughs> but it's gonna have to spend more money on fittings now. And then make a little bit more com well nah. All of the all of the drip tape fittings will will work uh, fine. So I just need to get the mainline ones. Cause all of my mainline ones won't fit. <laughs> I was a little bit upset. But, and we've still got about oh I would say eighty hundred feet of it after all of this application so there'll be plenty for connecting to the um, berry patch when it's a, it's eventual um, impl imp implementation there we go that's the word big word hard to say implementation hi ah, bird what's up bird I'm chasing you bird he said, don't chase me. I don't like it when you chase me. Elderberries are doing good. It'll be, well, I don't know about getting them in the ground. I might want to get berries off them before I get them out where, uh, I still got an idea of how to put kind of an anti-bird shelter over the top of them, uh, sitting in close like that. And uh, I've got an idea how to do it there too. It's just a whole lot bigger. So, a lot more effort. Eventually, even that'll have a, um, a T-post supported trellis system over the top of it. Uh, I guess trellis would be the right word. It's one thing about coming from a builder background. I've always got builder thoughts going through my head. <laughs> The flowers come out pretty. I'm also leaving this space back here between the blackberries and the fence so I can kind of keep it cleared. And, you know, uh, because there's a fence in there about two or three feet in. Uh, and I don't want that to happen again. So we'll keep this end so that I can get in there and clear it out but I'll tell you this much I well I can't say I hate it I detest it this stuff when it comes all rolled up and it's been rolled up for however whoever knows how long it is such a pain to work with I was originally going to come around come along the edge and come up like where I've got the hose now uh and then come underneath the deck. Because originally when I built the deck, or the walkways in the deck, it sagged a lot since then too. <laughs> um, I drilled the hole in the back of the deck for a line to go down and, uh, and then come out the end. And I may find a way to feed that and have it come up and uh, be a full-time feed for the garden. See my dog out there laying in the dirt. The other day he came into the house downstairs and uh, he had a brown tint to him. Now that brown tint brushed right off, but they had been out romping in the dirt. It's kind of funny. Alrighty, well, I'll let y'all... Ooh, another cool thing. I'm not going to show it to you. But um, the bee yard now has running water. Oh, ho, ho. Alrighty. Y'all have a great day. God bless you and God bless your bees. Blessed days. Vlog.